I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today's fun fact of the day has to do with the month of December. Did you know that the entire month of December didn't really exist for the Romans? Back when the Roman calendar was formed, the winter months were just deleted. They didn't even have names, and this is because Roman life came to a standstill during the cold winters. There was no agricultural activity taking place, no civic bodies were meeting, and then there were no battles or wars to be fought. What did people do? It was almost like the entire society was in hibernation. And then it was finally added in. It had thirty days, after which it was shortened to twenty-nine days. Basically, no one knew what to do with this poor month, and we have entered the month of December, and we still don't know what to do with this poor month. Most of us spend this month in some form of celebration, or then we spend this month waiting for January to come for that all those changes that we make in our life to start. It's wedding season here in India. Everyone seems to be getting married all of a sudden, and we suddenly realize that all wedding clothes from last year don't fit us. Or then we celebrate the birth of Christ and stuff our faces in celebration. Then, on the last day of the month, is when we set ourselves up for failure. Why? Because we make New Year resolutions, resolutions that we have no hope in hell of keeping, resolutions that are so difficult to keep that we fail within the second week of January. As I say, a resolution is just a wish. Think about it. Think about all the resolutions that you've had in the past. Aren't they just wishful thinking? But create a plan, ah, and then you have victory. And I want you to be victorious in the things that you want to change in your life. So let's make a plan, and it starts by clearly defining what you want. For most of us, this is unclear. We have no goal, or rather, we have no clear goal. What most of us have is an idea of what we don't want, and no idea of what we want. We know the kind of people we don't want to be with in a relationship. We know the number of kgs we don't want in our body. Okay, but what do you want? Do you want an active body? Do you want a caring partner? Even if we know what we want, most of us don't specify exactly what we want. And I hear this all the time. This year, I am going to read more. What the hell is more? Define it. Are you going to read books? Are you going to read newspapers? Are you going to read restaurant menus? And what is more? How many are you going to read? You have to be very specific about your goal. Then you have to break it down into steps to form a habit. What is the smallest thing that you can do to achieve that goal? You see, for most of our goals, the biggest challenge is just starting. If you can start and be consistent, you have a greater chance of success. The next step is visualizing your entire next year. Visualize what you're going to be doing, who you will be. Visualize achieving what you want. Visualize the goal and the person that you have to become to deserve that goal. As your habit coach, I want December. To be the preparation month. This is the month where you set everything in place for the new year. How twenty-two turns out is dependent on what you do this month. However, after twenty twenty, many people are not very confident and unsure on how to plan for this coming year. The feeling of uncertainty leaves us without a plan. Instead, make your goal and confirm it. Keep your goal rigid. However, be flexible. With the methods of reaching that goal, so the goal doesn't change, your methods might change. So today, there is no simple habit. Instead, I want you to sit down and write all that you want to achieve next year. Be very, very clear and specific about it. Then I want you to write down how you will achieve it. Finally, close your eyes and visualize the whole process, because what you see, you can achieve. Usually in a podcast, it's me who speaks to you and you who listens. But I've been seeing your comments, and it's time. It's me listening to you. Following the overwhelming success of this podcast, the good folks at IVM Podcast Network have decided to come up with a Kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language. Do make sure you let your Kannada-speaking friends know about this as well. So start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag #TheHabitCoach. If you like this podcast, 
Don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am Ashdin Doc on Twitter and Instagram. You can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my YouTube channel called A W E S O M E 180. That's Awesome180. Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. In the kickoff episode of Think Fast, our hosts Varun Dukirala and Suchita Salman give you their hot takes on all things trending. Whether it's the Paytm IPO fallout, Taylor Swift's re-releases, or the latest season of Shark Tank India, do check it out. On misconduct, Raghavi and Nisha take us through the story of Santok Bin Jadeja, aka the Godmother of Porbandar. At her peak in the 80s and 90s, her gang had over 500 registered criminal cases. Are social networks just content moderating platforms, or are they true blue publishers? Dive deeper into this debate with Siddharth on Smarter with Sid on Marathi Kirti Thun, Dr. Rajiv and Manik Deshmukh talk about differently able people who emerged as achievers. And speaking of Varun Dugirala, this week on advertising is dead. He is joined by content creator and gamer Mith Pat. They discuss his journey as a creator and the experience that came from it. Do follow us on social media where IVM podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. And finally do remember that many of our shows are available on YouTube. You can check that out by going to our website ivmpodcast.com/youtube where we have a list of all of our various YouTube channels. Finally, we'd like to thank the sponsors on the network this week, Cred, Bank of Baroda, HDFC Mutual Fund, CoinSwitch, Kuber, Intel and Oxfam India. Thank you so much for making this possible. Namaste this is Cyrus Brocha I am part of the government cancel culture program to remove rubbish off all the different streams available so what we have is all the collected rubbish we put together on our show it's called Cyrus says it's on IVM podcast you have to watch it and listen to it it's on our app it's on our website it's on the youtube channel it's on facebook there are many different ways don't bother me and ask me how uh, you have to find out we talk to different personalities many of them are known some are just people we meet downstairs and invite them up for chai but the point is it's fun and it's very therapeutic so please join in and listen to Cyrus Says 